Hi there, and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman. And joining me now in the studio is Julie Price. She's a volunteer for the Soulard Restoration Group Neighborhood Association. And we're here to talk about really what that organization is, but then also a really cool upcoming event that you have this weekend. So you'll want to make sure that you don't go anywhere because we're going to get to that in a minute. Soulard Restoration Group, what is really its function? Uh, we're a residential, um, pretty much voice for the neighborhood. So, um, so the people, you know, res it used to start out as kind of a rehabbers club, and that's what people think about it. Right. Um, and it used to be in the 70s because, you know, people would buy and renovate these vacant houses, and it was a way for them to kind of show off what, what they can do for it. So, um, you know, 30, almost 40 years Can you now, believe it? I know. <laughs> yeah, we're still going, and now we're really growing and we got like about 350 members Wow! and we're not rehabbers anymore it's renters it's homeowners it's business owners so it's really just a neighborhood uh, resident you know association and we can get be active and and uh, participate in the neighborhood and it, it really is a historic neighborhood with many historic different types of housing there so what made you decide you wanted to move to the Soulard neighborhood well, for me, it was Mardi Gras. Yeah. A lot of people want to move out of town. Right. Uh, from <laughs> happens, but, um, you know, I kind of went down there when I got out of college, and, and I just looked at what was going on and thought, it'd be fun to live right there. So uh, so um, my husband, now husband, Jim Price, uh, we ended up buying a house down there and became landlords. It was a two-family house. Oh, neat. So we bought up some more property, and we've been there for 15 years now. Wow, and you stayed. What are some of the other events that go on in Soulard throughout the year? Mardi Gras is one that really stands out in our minds. Right, we have the second largest Mardi Gras party in the country, <laughs> next to New Orleans. And, uh, and in fact, we almost surpassed uh, their crowd when uh, the hurricane came through and wow. kind of wiped them right, out. Right, I remember so, that year. It was a big deal here. That was, a, that was a huge turning point because then people that were closer to St. Louis started coming to St. Louis instead of going all the way down to New Orleans. So, it's topping, you know, 750,000 people, almost a million sometimes. That's a lot of work for you guys as your organization. And, and then I know that Soulard has its, uh, the, the, the um, Mardi Gras Inc. has its own thing running that oh, thing. Oh, they're running, yeah. We, yeah. we created a board Good. of people who year-round do uh, Mardi Gras festivities and some other ones as well. What, so what are some of your favorite things other than Mardi Gras that go on in the neighborhood or your favorite things about Soulard that you love? Well, I like Soulard Oktoberfest because yeah. you know, it's a festival, and um, I was helping promote that as well. Good, and that takes um, place usually in October, in October. obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we do, we, we used to have a Bastille Day celebration right. where we would behead the king and queen, and uh, which my, me and my husband got to do that as <laughs> well, and that was cool. a lot of fun. Um, and then we have a Hula Gras, which is a, a kind of a summer event um, in July or August where everybody kind of dresses up in hula skirts and certain um, neighborhood bars and restaurants have live music outside and it's just kind of a summer way to have fun. And it's a great way to bring people to the neighborhood. Already you've got some great restaurants and things that bring people to the area, but it's a good way to promote the businesses in that area, I would guess. Yeah, we did, uh, last year I helped put together a uh, .10K run. <laughs> So just one block to the next. It was literally <laughs> yeah. a block and a half um, from the Great Grizzly Bear down to like Molly's 1860s down that way. Yeah. Downhill at one o'clock in the afternoon with a beer in your hand. Yeah. And uh, we had the Point radio station that was publicizing that. That's smart. It was our major sponsor. And so uh, we had Big River Running actually have a chip in our, our oh my running goodness. bib where it would clock how long yeah. it took you. Yeah, so you were it was, serious. It really was. It was, a, it was the first year last year, and hopefully it'll continue. It, it seemed like a big event. Now this weekend, you've got your 37th annual house tour. That's mm -hmm. a big, long-standing event also because, because as I was driving through the Soulard neighborhood, I'm like, man, there's some really magnificent places here that are really awesome to be able to get into. So 
we don't want you to go anywhere. We're gonna, Julie's gonna stick around with us. We're gonna give you more details about the holiday house tour that's happening this weekend. Just to give you a little information on that, we will give you the website and the phone number now before we go into break, just so that you have that information so that um, in case you can't stay with us, that is happening this weekend. It starts at 10 a.m. Soulard.org or call 621-6226. So that's the Soulard Holiday Parlor Tour coming up this weekend. Okay, Julie's gonna give us more of the details and some of her favorites about this weekend uh, upcoming event. Um, um, so don't go anywhere. But I also want to remind you that STL TV is on Facebook and Twitter, and you can find us there for behind the scenes photos and programming updates. And also, you know, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. All of our programs, including STL TV Live, are online. So you can watch them on YouTube or over and over and over again, or you can watch them streaming live through our website at stltv.net. We'll be right back with more STL TV Live right after this.